A mural painted by notorious graffiti artist Banksy has been stolen from the Bataclan Theater. The artwork, which depicted a sad-faced girl, was taken last night, police confirmed. Banksy painted the art on the emergency door of the Parisian Concert Venue, where 89 people were killed by Islamist extremists in November 2015. An investigation is underway to track down the artwork, which could be sold for millions. The artwork was first seen last June on a door in the passage of Saint Pierre Amelot and is believed to pay homage to those who lost their lives during the Eagles of Death Metal concert. A police source is quoted as saying, in the night from Friday to Saturday, hooded villains came to steal their work before taking it to a truck. A post of an alarm was triggered inside the theater at around 4.25 am and police found a screwdriver close to where the painting was snatched. One witness reported seeing a white pickup truck and three suspicious people nearby. The mayor of Paris 11th district François Fauglin told French media site LC, the silhouette was murdered by the artist for free, it was an altruistic gesture to pay tribute to the victims of the terrorist attack and their loved ones, and I find it very sad that people have grabbed it without thinking about it all represents. Apostrophe could this be the moment elusive street artist Banksy photographed his own publicity stunt? Shocked bidders and Sotheby's staff watched in horror as that the painting, which sold for 1.042.000 pfund one second was torn to shreds the next. Experts now say that October's stunt may have actually doubled the value of the girl with balloon because of the Hugo interest it generated. A picture posted onto Banks's Instagram account showed the moment the piece was destroyed by the booby draft picture frame. And separate video posted on Twitter shows the stunt reaction of the backed auction house in London last night. As the camera bounces around, our Carly Hartmann in glasses taking a picture from the same position as the Instagram image can be seen. He appears to have taken the picture posted online by the mysterious graffiti guerrilla could have been the, the man himself documenting his prank in action. Yeah. He is seen holding his phone and zooming into the painting to get a good shot of the damage. The man is wearing thick glasses. A suit, and has curly hair and if it is the man himself could have used press the button to remotely trigger the shredder. A video released by Banksy shows the auction room from several different angles, adding to speculation he may be a team of people who were all in the room at the time of the sale. A stunt member of auction staff can be seen on the phone to the winning bidder as the painting is destroyed in front of his eyes. Thank 
Foxy posted a clip on his Instagram but then deleted it. In it, he reveals video of himself building the shredder. He explains, a few years ago he secretly built a shredder into a painting in case it was ever put up for auction. Apostrophe over the years speculation about the identity of the artist has been rife and many different identities have claimed to unmask the real Banksy. In 2008 Robin Gunningham was said to have been revealed as Banksy when a male on Sunday Investigation published a pictures supposedly at work, but his representatives denied it was him. He was said to have been filmed spraying graffiti in Melbourne, Australia and Jamaica. Eight years later, scientists said investigation identifying Mr. Gun in him as the only serious suspect was correct, when researchers at Queen Mary University of London used geographic profiling to tie him to his work on a pub, playing fields and a house. Robert Del Naya of Massive Attack was touted as the anonymous artist last year when fellow Bristol-based DJ Goldie and friend appeared to name him a personal friend, in an interview. Investigators claim to have matched up Massive Attack's touring schedule with appearances by Art by Banksy.